this video we will look at creating custom profile fields on your Moodle 2 site. You must be logged in as an administrator. Go to Site Administration, Users, Accounts, User Profile Fields. Here you can either start to create fields or create a profile category. While we look at a profile being edited in Moodle 2, we can see that the fields are split into categories, such as General, User Picture, Interests, and Optional. You can create your own categories. I will create a category called Some More. You can see that we now have two categories, other fields and some more. From the drop down menu, choose which type of profile field you would like to add. Your options are checkbox, date time, menu of choices, text area, and text input. I have created one of each so that you can see what they look like. Here you can see I have named them what they are. The checkbox is first. This can be used to get agreements for newsletters or site terms and conditions. Next is a date time field. Users can enable this to enter a date within the year range specified in the setup of this field. If time is also enabled in the setup, users will be able to specify a time. A menu of choices lets you give the users a drop-down menu. A text area gives users an HTML editor and box to type in. This is freeform and users can add anything that they are able to using the HTML editor. Finally, the text input field is for shorter text. It can be automatically set up to link to a specific site. For example, if you wanted people to put their Twitter account name in there, it could be set up to automatically link to their Twitter feed by adding http slash slash twitter.com in front of the input text. I will show you how to do this in a minute. These options let you, as the administrator, customize the information that you get from a user's profile. I will show you now how to add a text input field. Choose text input from the drop down menu to create a new profile field. Give it a unique short name. Give it a name that will be displayed when the users fill it out. You can choose to write a description for the field but this is not shown to the users. Choose whether the field is required, locked, whether the data should be unique. You may want to use this for fields that contain usernames like Twitter, whether it is displayed on the sign up page, or just when users update their profiles. Who is this field visible to has three options. Not visible is for private data only viewable by administrators. Visible to user is for private data that is only viewable by the user and by the administrators. Visible to everyone is visible to everyone who can view the profile. Choose which category the field should go into. You can write a default value in here or leave it blank to present a blank box. Choose how long the box should display. What the maximum number of characters are that can be entered. Depending on your field, you may wish to shorten this. As I am setting up a Twitter field, I am going to shorten this to 30. If you set this to be a password field, then the user will not be able to see what they type in. 
it will be instantly converted to the password placeholder, such as dots. It will have a checkbox next to it to unmask the password. I am leaving this as no. This is where I will link the username entered to Twitter, so that it displays their Twitter profile. I will enter the Twitter URL followed by two dollar signs. The dollar signs will then be replaced by the value entered into the field when the link is created. Finally, I will choose how the link will be opened. I will choose New Window. Click Save Changes. Now, when a user enters their Twitter name into the field and updates their profile, it will link automatically to their Twitter profile page.